Welcome to the ultimate cosmic countdown. Today, I'm diving into the mysterious and mind-bending world of black holes with 25 incredible facts that will blow your mind. Brace yourself, the laws of physics are about to get seriously weird. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 downright crazy facts about black holes. 25. Stellar Mass Black Holes Stellar mass black holes are the ultimate cosmic recyclers. These behemoths are giants born of the explosions of dying colossal stars. Just imagine a star 10 times heavier than our sun collapsing into a point of infinite destiny. That's essentially what a stellar mass black hole is. These dark titans typically weigh between 10 and 20 times the mass of our sun, wielding gravity so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape its clutches. And if you thought that was mind boggling, consider this. Some of these black holes unleash cosmic winds that travel through space at over 20 million miles an hour. 24. Stellar Nucleosynthesis Stars are cosmic alchemists that transform simple elements into the building blocks of our universe. During a process known as stellar nucleosynthesis, hydrogen is fused into helium, and the subsequent reactions create even heavier elements. While these stellar forges don't actually form black holes, they lay the foundations. The heavier elements produced within stars are essential components of massive stars, which eventually collapse. So, in essence, without the alchemical magic of stars, black holes as we know them wouldn't exist. 23. Primordial Black Holes Primordial black holes are theoretical black holes that are believed to have formed even before the stars were born in our earliest universe. If the data is correct, these black holes were generated after extremely dense regions of matter collapsed under its own gravity. So that means, in principle, primordial black holes could be incredibly small, but weigh as much as a large asteroid. While their presence remains unconfirmed for now, their discovery will provide invaluable insights into the conditions of our early universe. 22. Carl Schwarzschild The brilliant physicist Carl Schwarzschild was among the first to venture into the mysterious world of black holes. He started his observations during World War I, and his equations would later lay the foundation for our understanding of the cosmic giants. He even suggested the intriguing, but controversial, idea that black holes could possibly be able to connect us to parallel universes. And yet, despite centuries of study, black holes continue to baffle our best and brightest to this day. Their gravity is so powerful that nothing can escape its pull. Like I said, not even light. Hence their name, black holes. 21. They cannot be directly observed. As I've just mentioned, black holes are masters of disguise. They swallow up everything, including light. So how do we know they even exist? Well, it takes a bit of detective work. While we can't see the black hole itself, we can observe the effect it has on its surroundings. As gas, dust, and even stars get pulled towards a black hole, they form a swirling disk of superheated matter. This disk, called an accretion disk, emits powerful x-rays and other forms of radiation that we can detect with our telescopes. So while we can't see the black hole directly, we can spot the telltale signs of its presence. 20. A black hole has three layers. Okay, bear with me for a second and imagine a black hole as a cosmic onion, but with far more sinister implications, of course. At its core lies what we call the singularity, a point of infinite density where our current understanding of physics breaks down. Surrounding this is the inner and outer event horizon, or what most people simply call the point of no return. Once something crosses this boundary, it's pulled towards the singularity without fail. I think a more apt name would be the black hole's gaping maw. It's so much more descriptive. 19. Black hole sizes. Black holes come in a stunning range of sizes, from the incredibly small to the mind-bogglingly massive. Scientists believe the smallest black holes are no bigger than a single atom, and yet they pack the mass of a colossal mountain. On the opposite end of the scale are the stellar black holes I mentioned earlier. These guys can pack the mass of up to 20 suns into a space smaller than many cities, creating objects of immense density and gravitational pull. 18. Black holes spin around an axis. Not only are black holes incredibly dense, but they're also spinning at dizzying rates. Scientists have discovered this spinning by studying the powerful jets of energy they shoot out into space. Some of them even tilt dramatically as they spin, 
Their axis is skewed by as much as 40 degrees compared to the plane where they orbit their companion star. 17. Black holes can generate sound. Space is a vacuum, which means there's no air or any other substance for sound to travel through. So while it might seem strange, black holes are completely silent on their own. But here's the twist. Space isn't always completely empty. It's full of matter, like gas and dust. When this matter interacts with a black hole, it can create disturbances that generate sound waves. And these waves, though imperceptible to the human ear, can be detected by specialized instruments. In fact, let's take a quick listen. Black holes distort space and time. Picture space as a stretchy sheet. If you put a heavy ball on it, it'll bend and curve the sheet. A black hole is like an incredibly heavy ball, but way, way heavier. Its gravity is so strong that it bends space and time like a stretched rubber sheet. And because time is linked to space, it gets warped too. When you're close to a black hole, time moves slower compared to when you're further away. It basically works like a cosmic time machine. 15. There's no sucking involved. Black holes don't actually suck things in like a vacuum cleaner. Instead, they just have unimaginably strong gravity. If we go back to the stretchy sheet example, just picture a black hole as a bottomless pit in the fabric of space-time. Its gravity is so intense that it creates an infinite depth from which nothing can return. It's similar to how things fall towards Earth due to gravity, just on a much, much larger scale. 14. There's a supermassive black hole in just about every galaxy. Just about every large galaxy, including our very own Milky Way, has a supermassive black hole at its center. These are massive objects, millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun, packed into a relatively small space. While we haven't observed every single galaxy out there, the prevailing evidence suggests that a supermassive black hole is a central feature in just about every galaxy. 13. There are 40 quintillion black holes in our universe. That is a mind-boggling number. Like seriously, it is impossible to imagine. It is 40 followed by 18 zeros. To give you an idea, scientists think there are around 7.5 sextillion grains of sand on Earth. That's a huge number too. 7.5 followed by 17 zeros. However, if you were to sit down and count every grain of sand, you would still be far short of the estimated number of black holes. It's like comparing a drop of water to an entire ocean. 12. Any object can be turned into a black hole. Believe it or not, any object, even something as small as a pebble, could theoretically become a black hole. To achieve this, the object would need to be compressed into an incredibly tiny space, a process requiring unimaginable force. When matter is squeezed to such extreme densities, its gravity becomes overwhelming, causing it to collapse inward and form a black hole. 11. Black holes eventually evaporate. I know this might sound crazy, but here's my number, so call me, maybe. <laughs> All black holes eventually do meet their end. That's actually what sounds crazy. Since they grow by absorbing matter and energy, a process known as accretion, they also lose mass over incredibly long periods of time. Stephen Hawking first hypothesized that black holes emit radiation, which is now called Hawking radiation. This radiation is incredibly weak, but gradually carries energy away from the black hole, making it shrink. When this process continues for long enough, the black hole will eventually fade away and slowly evaporate. 10. Supermassive black holes and star formation. Supermassive black holes shape the evolution of their host galaxies. These supersized space monsters blast out powerful energy that pushes away the gas and dust needing to make new stars. It also explains why galaxies today aren't making as many new stars as they did in the past. In recent studies, scientists discovered that these energy blasts from black holes happen in stages. Future super telescopes like the European Space Agency's Athena will give scientists more insight and a better look at these amazing events. Nine. Black holes and dark energy. Scientists might have just cracked a major cosmic mystery. They've discovered the first signs that black holes could be behind the dark energy that's speeding up the universe's expansion. 
When they took a closer look at supermassive black holes in the hearts of galaxies, they found something surprising. These black holes are growing way faster than anyone expected. This fits with Einstein's idea that massive objects warp space-time, and now researchers think these black holes might be stretching space-time in a way that's making the universe expand even faster. I guess more like that. This isn't very fat. That. <laughs> 8. Black holes could create new universes. Black holes just got even weirder. That's a sentence I didn't think I'd say today. Some physicists are starting to think that these cosmic monsters might not be the end of the story, but the beginning of something even bigger, like whole new universes. Here's the idea. When a black hole collapses all the way, it might kick off the creation of a brand new universe on the other side of its singularity, that super dense point where our usual physics seems to fall apart. This wild concept called cosmological natural selection is still very much in the theory stage, but it definitely adds a new twist to the already mind-blowing world of space. 7. Black Hole Growth Supermassive black holes don't just sit around doing nothing. They grow by swallowing everything that gets too close. This process, again, called accretion, is how black holes get bigger. They swallow gas, dust, and even entire stars, which form a super hot glowing disk that spins around the black hole before getting swallowed up. And that's not all. Black holes can also bulk up by merging with other black holes. When two of these giants collide, they combine into one even bigger black hole, releasing a massive burst of energy in the process. 6. Black Hole Fireworks Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the heart of our Milky Way, hides a lot of secrets. Recently, astronomers spotted incredible black hole fireworks, flares and X-ray echoes, coming from the cosmic giant. These flares usually happen when Sagittarius A pulls in nearby material, heating up to extreme temperatures and releasing bursts of energy that we can detect from Earth. What's even cooler are the X-ray echoes that follow, bouncing off the surrounding gas and dust like ripples in a pond. 5. The Impact of Black Holes on Light When light passes too close to a black hole, it gets trapped and can't escape, which is why the area around a black hole looks like a pitch black disk. But if the light passes just a bit further away, it doesn't fall into the black hole's gaping maw. <laughs> See what I did there? It actually gets bent by the black hole's intense gravity. This bending, known as gravitational lensing, can make stars or galaxies behind the black hole appear warped or even duplicated. 4. Luminous X-ray binaries Have you ever heard of X-ray binaries? They're a fascinating type of star system that happens when a normal star teams up with a collapsed star, like a white dwarf, neutron star, or a black hole. As their material spirals in and heats up, it emits X-rays, which is why we call them X-ray binaries. These cosmic pairs give us a front row seat to some of the most extreme environments in space, helping us understand how stars die and what happens when things get really, really weird in space. 3. Quasars and Supermassive Black Holes Quasars are some of the brightest objects in the universe, and they get their power from supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. These black holes are gobbling up enormous amounts of gas and dust, and as the material spirals in, it gets heated to unfathomable temperatures and blasts out huge amounts of lights and energy. As I said, that's what makes quasars shine so brightly, even though they're billions of light years away. Quasars are basically the universe's most energetic light shows, driven by the intense activity around massive black holes. Two. Black holes are cosmic fire hoses. Black holes aren't just about taking things in. They can also shoot stuff out. These jets blast from the poles of the black hole at nearly the speed of light, stretching across thousands or even millions of light years. The secret behind these jets is the intense magnetic fields generated by the black hole's gravitational forces, which twist and launch material from the surrounding accretion disk. As the jets travel, they produce radiation across the entire spectrum, from high-energy gamma rays to low-energy radio waves, creating a cosmic fireworks show just on an unimaginable level. 1. The Incredible Black Hole Blast In 2019, Earth felt a cosmic jolt as two observatories picked up gravitational waves from an extraordinary event. Known by the oh-so-catchy name GW190521, I'm gonna name my kid that, this signal came from a collision of two black holes that happened 7 billion years ago, creating a new, massive black hole. The explosion was the most powerful ever recorded, equivalent to a million billion atomic bombs going off every second for 13.8 billion years. 
The final black hole was 142 times the mass of the sun, making it an intermediate sized black hole, which was surprising because such black holes were only theoretical. Even more baffling, one of the original black holes was about 85 solar masses, which shouldn't exist according to our current theories, as it would need a star that normally explodes as a supernova, proving once again that we still have so much to learn. And well, that my friends is a wrap. If you enjoyed today's video, you will love the one we did a while back on 25 space facts that'll both terrify and amaze you. To check that one out, click right here and I'll see you next time.